Hi YouTube, how are you all? Today is Tuesday 26th of September 2017. My name's Jan Silver and I've been video logging my journey to and beyond the gastric bypass, which I had on March 15th 2017. So I'm over six months post-op now, doing really well, feeling really good. Um, and as most of you will know, we are in the south of France. We're actually still in Saint-Tropez or just outside of Saint-Tropez. And yeah, the weather's not great today. Look, ready? It looks more like an English sky, but we've had a really good morning this morning. We got up and went to quite a large market in Saint-Tropez this morning, so we've been along there and uh, had some fun and spent some money. Not a lot of money. I'm quite a cheap person in that respect. I don't deny it. I'm quite, I'm quite a tight ass. so I'm going to show you a few bits. This, um, it's a basket bag. <laughs> cost me all of 10 euros which is almost pound for euro at the moment which is 10 pounds and I'm really really happy with it everybody here seems to be walking around with basket bags so I was quite chuffed to blend in a little bit in Saint-Tropez you know what I mean and I've gone for things like oh, I won't unwrap that but I will unwrap these little things the crockery here I absolutely adore it's just it's very kind of European little olive pots and things like that and they're dirt cheap these are like three euros so I've gone for things like that and um, we were in a restaurant yesterday and as I've said before I, one of my downfalls here especially is fresh French bread mm -mm -mm, with balsamic vinegar and oil now you can buy them ready mixed up because they generally always offer you them together but this was really interesting so you can get your balsamic in a little spray so that you've got your piece of bread hi Howie <laughs> So that you can get your piece of bread and spray the balsamic onto it and the oil so they're my lovely little purchase today from the market which i was really happy with and i go for silly little things like this because i love all things hearts and and wood a little wooden heart thing that's really really expensive for what it is but i really love it so you know you have to weigh it up and i was thinking about this this morning actually I make it quite clear who I am and what I'm about I think through my YouTube and I'm a bit of a control freak I tend tend to generally want to do the driving I like to have my own you know destiny in my own hands I guess I don't relinquish that control very easily and when Howie talked about um, getting a, a scooter to go in the garage of the motorhome I was like mm, okay we've done it before we've had scooters when we were in Goa and I think I might have carried someone on the back when all the kids are with us and, and, and whatever but of course I don't know if I've said this the laws have changed years ago on my driving license which is just purely a driving license I was able to drive a scooter under a certain engine size but the laws have changed now and I can't so I've had to relinquish that control I've had to, to Harry can only drive me on the on the scooter which is there by the way our little baby but today and this holiday has made me realize it has given us so much freedom I can't tell you we've been every single day we've been somewhere different and generally if we had our push bikes or we were walking it would really limit us not only limit us we'd have to do public transport and my husband's no good at that he doesn't like being a bus wanker so this has given us no end of freedom and today it's just made me realize I'm so glad that we took that leap of faith and we bought the scooter because it really has made this holiday and I think possibly we will go away more often in Europe and you know driving on the other side of the road it only takes a few minutes to get used to really you just kind of your, your brain switches and you realize that you need to be on that side and going around the roundabouts and it's all but yeah anyway I'm just I'm, I'm super happy that Every day I'm less and less nervous of getting on the back with Howie. He does drive extremely well, I can't say he doesn't. And I'm less likely to hit him around the helmet now or headbutt him with my helmet or something. So anyway, I wanted to say that anyway and give Howie a bit of praise because yeah, he's, he's done bloody well putting up with quite a nervous passenger, me, on the back. And the other thing I was going to talk about is this. My lovely friend Anne bought me some of this back from... Um, America the last time she went and I know all you guys in America you probably pay what two dollars for this if I wanted to purchase this through Amazon in the UK I'm looking I think it's around 15 pounds whatever that is in dollars I don't know absolutely ludicrous so and I get through it quite a lot as you can see I've only had this a few weeks and there's there's not that much left I've probably actually had half of it I eat it just out in the palm of my hand I absolutely adore it probably not good for you all that salt but it isn't fattening so weight loss in weight loss terms it's not a bad thing to, to want to munch on 
But how he Googled it this morning, I know one of my other girls on Instagram had said that she'd found a, um, a recipe for it and how he Googled it. And in the markets this morning, we've actually been and bought the ingredients. So we've got us some dried onion, poppy seeds, sesame seeds, salt, and the garlic. And he's done it to the specifications. He bought a beautiful little grinder for me. And that is our homemade everything but the bagel. And I have to be honest, I'd call it everything but the flight. It's perfect. I swear to God, it is absolutely tastes exactly the same as what I'm doing. So um, I'm really, really happy now that I don't have to bother anybody to send me this from from abroad, this does taste exactly the same as it does from there. So yeah, happy days. Thanks, Howie. Bless him. We've literally just got home and he, he did that for me. So winner, winner, chicken dinner, guys. Um, I did have a croissant today. I, I had my normal breakfast this morning and going around the markets, we stopped to have a coffee and a croissant, which was good. And I do realise with a croissant, um, if I eat it too fast, it does feel like it gets stuck in my pouch. So my pouch doesn't particularly like it and it's not that I eat something like that very often so I will treat myself when I want to um, and I know somebody yesterday was asking me about what meats uh, sorry what foods have I gone off since surgery and the only thing I can truly say is um, meats I don't like greasy meats and I'm not saying that I liked greasy meats beforehand but a, um, a kebab a greasy kebab was one of my favourite go-to meals if Harry wasn't around and I haven't had one of those since surgery. I'm not sure that my pouch could handle that amount of grease either. So a burger for me is out of the question and I must have tried it maybe four times. Harry will always give me a little cut out of his burger. No, nope. and it's not that it makes me feel sick and it's not that it makes me dump. It just, I think it's the grease. The minute the grease hits my pouch my body just says don't do any don't do it because you will get ill so i tend to do what i've always said initially which is listen to my body and i just don't eat it um <laughs> what i'm not doing this holiday um which is pretty bad and it probably isn't going to help if i've gained weight like i said before I've, i'm going to expect to have gained a few pounds and i'm not i'm not going to worry about that i'm going to get back on track when i get home i'll get back to the gym and i'll get back to my water i have not drunk two liters of water a day and i'm not going to lie about that I, you know we're busy we're on the bike we're flying here there and everywhere and the last thing i want to do because you're peeing all the time when you drink that much is actually to to do that so it's not that I'm being really super bad and saying I'll never do it I'll get back onto track as soon as I get home anyway guys I'm gonna leave you I'm gonna go and eat some of my homemade everything but the flight I hope you're all really well if you've got any questions put them in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can um, thanks everybody for watching sticking with me it means an awful lot I appreciate all the messages again I've had I'm really doing fine today and I'm gonna be doing fine in the future. Positive pants are right back on again. Um, anyway, speak to you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye.